In this video, I'm going to show you a way of thinking about short term trends and how we can use this to predict when the trend will end and a new trend will start and how we can use this to create a high win rate trading strategy. Stay tuned. All traders realize that what happened yesterday, what happened last week, last month affects what is going to happen today and what is going to happen next week. But it's not always easy to understand the relationship between what has happened and what will happen. One way that we can think about short term trends and I'm talking about trends that, t that have taken place over a few days or a few weeks is to look at consecutive closes in the same direction. And what I mean by this is one day higher, two days higher, three days higher or one day lower, two days lower and three days lower. And how thinking about the short term trend like this can help you to understand the probability of what is going to happen tomorrow and over the next few days. And this concept of consecutive higher and lower closes has another aspect to it. Not only does it affect when we open a trade, it affects when we close a trade. Because if you think about it, every trading strategy, we've got an intention. We either want to get out when the market's moving in our direction. In other words, we've had one higher close, two, three, four higher closes, or we give it more room and we let it do what it wants until it has closed lower over one bar, two bar, three bars. So we can use it in two different ways. Let's look at some ways that we can apply this into trading strategies. First of all, the buy the dip, the very simple mean reversion trading strategy. We're looking for a single bar lower followed by a bar higher. We get a good percentage of winning trades with this strategy. I have tested on a wide range of stock ETFs and we're getting about 70 to 75 percent under the following conditions. So I've tested SPY, Qs, a range of the sector ETFs and some of the leveraged ETFs including TQQ, XO, SOXL as well. And what I'm looking for is a single bar lower. It could be any close lower followed by a close higher. Now this trading strategy is short term. I'm only going to keep it open for five bars and I'm going to use a profit target to increase our percentage of winning trades. So we're only open for five bars. We've got a very short term horizon because we've got a very specific signal, a single bar lower. The other thing we've got is a long term trend identify. Now different markets respond better to trends. I'm using a 225 bar Exponential moving average, very basic, very common, slightly longer than some people might use, but it gets us out of the very worst conditions that we saw in 2008, 2009, and again in 2022, and may see, may well see again in the future. So a single bar reversal. You can see on the chart here that I'm showing these are the results that I've got, and I am focused in on percentage of winning trades which is high. I want this to be high and the size of each winning trade. You can see over here on the right hand side I have the four leveraged ETFs. See each of those have got a very similar percentage of winning trades but a slightly higher size per trade which is exactly what we would expect. Now we can extend this trading strategy to a three bar reversal. So I want three lower closes. Now we don't get as many of these. And in addition, we don't get as many of these when the markets are trending higher. So these give us a slightly better signal, but we do have a slightly higher chance of getting a bigger loss. So these are the results. You can see here we've got more consistency. The leveraged ETF showing more consistency. Now I've got one final variation of the trading strategy and this one is entering on three consecutive lower closes and exiting on three consecutive higher closes. So we're going for larger wins. I've also increased the profit target to two times the ATR to give the trade room to move. And you can see the results on the screen here. Everything has got a slightly lower winning percentage but a slightly higher win percentage per trade and in particular on the right of the table you can see here the leveraged ETFs are in particular outperforming 
got to draw attention to SOXL, which is has a very high win rate per trade. TQQ as well performing very nicely in this situation. Now there is slightly more risk in this strategy because we're holding it open for longer. We're not closing it as quickly. There is a risk that our profit can get away from us or that we can get a bigger loss. However, this is more than made up for in the times that we have larger winning trades. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and please remember to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. In particular, I'd like you to understand how easy it is to create these robust rules that enable you to make the building blocks of your own trading strategies to target it on the markets you like to trade, to get the risk profile that you want to see, whether you want to be leveraged, unleveraged, whichever type of instrument you like to use, you can use this type of approach to build a trading strategy to suit you. Now, if you'd like more information about trading the financial markets, please go to tradeinformed.com.